First on five, rising flood waters continuing to trouble people living near our area's rivers and streams. News 5's Dana Winter joins us tonight in Satsuma along Steel Creek where water is starting to get into people's homes. Dana? Roseanne, Peter, I want you guys to take a look at this. This Volkswagen Beetle is partially submerged in a front yard that's completely flooded. People living here along Steel Creek tell me they hope the water goes down soon. This is sad. This is really sad. Roger Fleshman started noticing the water by his house rising last week. It's came up probably three or four inches today, just today, right here on our line, because it was about six feet seven feet that way and it's all the way up here now. He says flooding is so bad it's stopping people from getting around normally. The only way that they can get in and out of their house they had to go buy a raft a little two man raft and that's the only way they can get in and out their front door and their house is on still on stilts. He says water is a couple of inches deep in his family's basement. Outside debris from his neighbors and items from Fleshman's own yard float around. It got so high, it picked the pallets up, and there's four or five pallets right out here. Um, I lost my gas can right out of underneath the porch because it's flooded the porch. The water now sits up to the wheels of Fleshman's truck and is in the garage. There's a boat in one, and the boat's almost floating now. It's up on its trailer, but it's almost floating. And my riding mower is down there. I couldn't get to it. I had a brand new riding mower, too. Fleshman tells us he's hoping the water goes down, but he does say if it comes up three more feet, it could cause some serious damage to his home. Reporting live in Satsuma tonight, I'm Dana Winter for WKRG News 5.